Welcome to Yoga with Rituals. I'm Deborah, and our practice is going to focus on flexibility. So we will work our way progressively through the body to create more openness, space, and mobility. I look forward to guiding this practice. So we're going to start in a seated position in this practice. I want to invite you to have a scarf or a long towel because in a certain part of our practice, we're going to use that. So feel free to pause the video, go grab it and come back. And then when you find yourself in a seated position, if this is at all uncomfortable in your hips or lower back, feel free to use a cushion or a towel or even a small chair underneath you to get centered. So just gently coming to a seated posture, closing your eyes. And taking the first few minutes of our practice to feel your body to connect to your breath. Begin to lengthen gently the duration of your inhale and lengthen gently the duration of your exhale. Coming to a nice, deep, slow and steady breath. Take your time. Sometimes it takes a few breaths to find a kind of long rhythm of the breathing. There's no hurry. Taking another few deep breaths here. Good, and then gently opening your eyes. We're gonna start just with creating a little bit of flexibility and space in the neck. So you're gonna bring your right ear to your right shoulder. Draw your left shoulder down away from your ear. And breathe, feeling the space created kind of along the left side of the neck. Coming back up slowly, slowly to center. You're going to take your hand on the top of your head and gently, not pulling, just provide a little bit of guidance, very lightweight into the top of your head, moving into a slightly deeper stretch. Breathe. We hold a lot of tension in our neck, which can lead to restricted mobility and flexibility. One more breath. And then coming back up to center, release your hand. Take that left ear to the left shoulder, drawing your right shoulder actively down away from your ear. Breathing. Good. Coming back up to center slowly and then taking your left hand on top of the head, just very gently guiding again. No pressure, no heavy pulling, just a gentle weight, the top of the head, taking the stretch a little bit deeper. Good, coming back slowly up to center. Interlace your fingers at the back of your head, just kind of open. And then again, not creating a lot of weight, but letting your head come forward and allowing a gentle, gentle pressure at the back of the head to lengthen the back of your neck. Keep your heart lifted. So you're just isolating a gentle stretch through the back of the neck. Good, and then release your hands. Keep the chin towards your chest and just kind of gently half circle, keeping your chin to chest, taking your ear to the shoulder a few times. Good, and then coming to center, coming back, and coming to hands and knees position. So moving now into the spine a little bit from the neck. So we're gonna just do the very classic cat-cow transitions, letting your belly come down 
lifting your head and then exhaling, rounding the spine, pulling the belly in, pressing the back of the heart towards the ceiling. So you're just creating mobility and flexibility through the spine, really allowing a full extension before you move into the flow of the next posture. So really pushing into the back of your heart, press your hands down. Let's hold here in the cat lift position for a moment. See if you can take the stretch a little bit further and then let's hold in the cat lift position. Again, dropping the belly, lifting your heart, kind of let your shoulder blades draw together, opening belly nice and heavy. Good, and then widening your knees, bringing your toes together, sitting back into child's pose. And this, I want you to actively pull your hands forward as you pull the lower back down. So your arms are active here, nice and strong. You'll feel this stretch through your shoulders. Good, wiggle your hands a little bit more forward. Pull back with your hips. Relax into where you feel the stretch through the shoulders. Good, and then coming up to hands and knees position, you're gonna keep your hips directly over your knees. You're gonna walk your hands forward and you're gonna let your chest sink towards the mat. So this is a deep shoulder stretch, breathe here. Try to match the intensity of the stretch with the focus and the intensity of your breathing. One or two more breaths. Good, and then slowly take your time coming out of that posture. You're gonna find your scarf or your towel and you're gonna take it kind of a, quite a bit wider than shoulder length. We're gonna come to a kneeling position here and you're gonna allow your hands to reach up and we're just gonna make kind of circles going back and this really helps with the flexibility through the shoulders and then coming all the way forward taking the arms down and you're going to come back up let's do this two or three more times taking your time going down if it's hard make your hands a little wider if it's too easy bring your hands closer together slowly kind of moving front and back Good, let's go one more time back. One more time forward. Good, and this time as you come back, we're gonna stop at the first place that you feel a stretch, that really juicy stretch, hold there. And then you're gonna bring your right hand a little bit up towards your ear, slightly arch the body up and back stretching into the side body, you'll feel a deeper stretch at the inner shoulder. Breathe. Good, and then coming back to center, take the other way. Go ahead and pull back down with your right hand, up with your left hand. And again, find a deeper stretch into the shoulder. Good, back up to center, take the hands back, pause at the next place of tension, holding for a moment, breathe, and then dropping down. Good, let's take the towel one more time forward. Ah, feel the release through the shoulders. And you're gonna release that kind of back behind you or out of the way for a moment. And go ahead and sit back on your heels. Just drop the shoulders nice and heavy. Just let the energy circulate, feel the benefits of that stretching of what we just did. Good, and then coming back up to kneeling, go ahead, if you're facing, go ahead and face the short edge of your mat. You're gonna take your right leg forward and you're just gonna come into a low lunge position here. Your hands can be at your knees, option one. If you want a little bit of a deeper stretch, we're gonna take the hands down to the floor. And you're just gonna hold a low lunge position, really opening the front of your hip flexor. And if you want even a deeper stretch here, you can lower down onto your elbows. 
breathe. Wherever you are, don't push further than what your body is asking for. Flexibility is something that we build over time. We don't force ourselves. We allow the poses to kind of unfold as more space is felt and created from inside. Take your time here, one more breath. Good, and then slowly coming back up, you're gonna wiggle this right foot forward and you're gonna draw the foot back towards you, pinky toe in, feeling the stretch along your hamstring and really opening your heart towards your toes, folding, saying hello to the hamstring, the back of the leg. Try to keep pulling that left hip forward and the right hip back. Good, take a few more breaths. Bending into the stretch. And then from here, just taking that foot forward into your lunge again and stepping back to hands and knees. Step your left foot forward, other side, so you're moving into the low lunge position. Again, you can hold here in a lifted position or you can come onto your hands. Starting at the hands to give your body time to adjust into the posture. Again, finding your breath. Breathing, especially the exhalation into wherever you feel the intensity of the stretch. And then if you did it on the other side, maybe you come down onto your elbows. Good, keep the breath active, conscious. And then slowly you're gonna come back up and you're going to take your hand to the outside of your foot, wiggle this left foot forward and slowly pull the toes back as you extend and reach the heart forward. Breathe into the back of your leg, hamstring stretch. Really nice, slow, deep breaths here. Good, and then coming back into your lunge, take your hands down and step this left foot back. And then I'm gonna invite you to come to the wall. This is an intense stretch through the quadricep. Sometimes we neglect the front of our legs. So we're gonna come to the wall. You can take your scarf, or your blanket or towel, place it at the wall. We're gonna start with our left foot. So you're gonna take your left knee as close to the wall as you can, but if your quadriceps are tight, move it away a little bit from the wall. And you're gonna go ahead and extend your right foot up, and you might stay here. If you already feel the stretch, you can stop. Otherwise, if you want more, you're gonna go ahead and lift up and press your torso back towards the wall. Breathe. You're gonna push the knee down into the floor if you want more of a stretch as you lift up through your heart. So good for the front line of the body, quadricep, the hip flexor. Take another two slow deep breaths here. I'm not sure if you hate or love me at this moment. You're gonna wiggle your front foot forward and then you're going to let your hips come off the wall and your hands are gonna to come to the floor. Hello, hip flexors. One breath here. Good, and then let your foot come off the wall and we're gonna do the other side. So you're gonna take this right knee up towards the wall Again, find the right distance away from the wall that works for your body. And then you're gonna sit back, lifting the chest, pushing the weight into the knee, and breathe. Nice and easy, ooh, intense stretch. Good, two more long, deep, slow breaths here. And then wiggle this foot forward, hands come to the inside of the foot. Go ahead and sink your hips nice and deep. Say hello to your hip flexor. One more breath in and out. Good, take this right foot away from the wall and then go ahead and find yourself 
back on your mat. So from here, we're just gonna turn your toes under and lift the hips up into a downward facing dog just for a moment. You might feel that openness through your shoulders allows you to press the chest towards the front of your thighs. And the work we did in the hamstrings is gonna help your heels reach further down towards the floor. So go ahead and bend your left knee and your right knee. Good, and then from here, you're gonna take your right foot forward coming onto the outside of your shin. You're gonna sit your hips back, moving into pigeon pose for the hip. So you're gonna inhale and lift really high with your heart and exhale, slowly start to come down. You might stop on your elbows. If you need an extra support, you can bring a blanket or a cushion underneath your hip or use the scarf or towel that we've been using. And if you feel open, you can slowly start to take the pose down to the floor. Now, consciously direct your breath. So allow the breath to move into the place that you feel tight. When we're creating flexibility, we never want to tighten around where we feel the stretch, right? This tends to lock the body and limit flexibility. So we wanna to try to release and soften into the area where we feel the stretch and move progressively and patiently deeper into the posture, deeper into the body. Breathe. Maybe three more breaths here. Good. Slowly come back up. And then from here, we've opened the quadriceps. So one option is you stay here. If it's available to you, you can bend your back leg, take hold of your foot, and kind of pull the leg in towards you. Again, moving into a quadricep opening. Breathe. And then release. Beautiful. Take your time. Coming back into a downward facing dog. And we're gonna switch. Moving into the left side, bringing your shin outside. Breathing in as you lift the heart and exhale wherever is available to you. Maybe you stop here. Maybe you come to your forearms. Maybe you take your time and work with your body to slowly and patiently lower down to the ground. Breathe. Again, creating space into where you feel the stretch. Try not to shut down or clench. Good, another three deep breaths. Stay with the posture, stay with your breathing. Good, and then slowly come back up. If you did it on the other side, go ahead and bend your knee, find your foot, pulling the ankle gently and slowly towards your hip. And release, good. Go ahead and step back into down dog. Drop your knees to the floor. Inhale, cat lift position and exhale. Sit back into child's pose. This time the arms are passive. You let them drop, forehead to earth. Take a few breaths. Good, and then slowly come sitting back onto your heels. You're gonna sit onto the side and swivel your legs around. And we're just gonna last seated posture. We're gonna open the inner thighs a little bit, so you're gonna bring your feet together. You're gonna let your legs fall out nice and wide. And you're gonna inhale, lift your heart up to the ceiling. Extend and lengthen through the spine, so really try not to round as you fold. 
and bringing the heart towards your toes, taking your time again, patiently and gently moving into your flexibility. We work in cooperation, in friendship with the body. I really like to really encourage students to talk to their body the same way that they would talk to their closest friend. With kindness, attention, compassion, understanding. We tend to be really overly self-critical. Can you meet your body where you are? One more breath. Slowly come back up. Good. Last thing we're going to do is we're going to twist here. So you're going to take the foot to the outside of your knee. You're going to bring your hand back behind you. You're going to reach up towards the ceiling, twisting. You might feel more openness in your spine, maybe taking your twist a little bit deeper, drawing your navel in, looking over your shoulder. Breathe. Good, lengthen as you inhale, twist deeper as you exhale, and release. And go ahead and do the other side. Left foot crosses over, left hand behind you, right hand reaches up, lengthen, and then twist, allowing, again, the gaze to go over your left shoulder. Lengthen as you inhale, take the twist deeper as you exhale. Good. Slowly untwist. And you're going to bend your knees and just find yourself coming to lay on your back. Moving into the final resting pose of our practice. Take a few really deep breaths. Go ahead and inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. One more inhale. And exhale. And this is the final resting posture. Really the purpose is to integrate the benefits of the practice to move from a place of doing to a place of being. Maybe as you lay here to finish your practice, you can have a short kind of reflection on flexibility. Flexibility not only being an asset of the body, but flexibility being an asset of the mind of the heart. How can we be more flexible mentally, more able to adjust, more open to possibility? How can we be flexible in our heart, our emotions, working to more deeply understand our own needs and the needs of others, being flexible in our expectations, Letting go these last few breaths.
When you feel ready, just gently drawing your knees in towards your chest. Rolling over onto one side. Take your time, pause. And press yourself up to a seated position. Closing your eyes. Taking a moment to feel the spaciousness that we created through the practice. Another feeling of flexibility. Yoga is about so much more than being flexible. It's about deeper levels of self-awareness, finding a place of spaciousness and peace within ourselves so we can be more peaceful to those around us. When you're ready, you can open your eyes. Thank you for practicing. Well done. And I look forward to seeing you again soon.